super loud, super cold. We're in downtown Scranton for parade day. At one point, this was the third largest parade in the country, surpassed only by Boston and Chicago. Well, Chicago paints the river green for the day. We do not have a river to paint green. Super windy, there are bike cops out. Probably not comfortable right now. We've got a wind chill of about three degrees, so this is freezing. Normally the streets are packed by now. It's, uh, it's close to 10 a.m. I think we're the ninth largest parade in the country now at this point. This parade started in 1962 and is put on annually the Saturday before the actual St. Patrick's Day by the St. Patrick's Day Association of Lackawanna County. I think I got that right. It's a long title. But yeah, every year since 1962, this has been happening. I have missed one day in the past 20 years, and that was last year. But I kind of wish I was in Phoenix right now because it was like 90 degrees last year during parade day, and it's like 17 degrees with a wind chill of three. Freezing! These streets, this whole square, we're at the courthouse in Scranton. This would be packed right now if it wasn't this cold. Wow, my hands are freezing. I should have put my gloves on. We're going to a bar to get nice and warm. We've already had Guinness and breakfast a couple hours ago. We've stopped at our first party. Let's see if this day picks up a little bit.
What's up? Wow. It's weather out. There's weather. It's almost about time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely just a super. <laughs> well, we got that up for the firefighters. Oh, fuck. Well, my fingers are all going in. Okay. I'm going to be in this hole right here. And she has a mind in her, too. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, she's going to be mad at her. Mad. <laughs> Young Democrats. Liz, don't fall over. Currently walking back to Southside, South Scranton. It is South people on the other parts of the world don't understand what Southside is. This is probably the worst parade day to ever try to vlog. I'm pitch black right now. With the wind chill, it's nine degrees out. Normally, we get an influx of 100 to 150 thousand people. Yes, I said 100,000 to 150,000 people come into the city to see the parade. I did say this is at one point the third largest parade in the country, eclipsed only by Boston and Chicago. This year it is so cold, 
everyone was indoors. The streets were not packed. Normally when we walk down here for like 9 a.m., the streets are lined with people drinking and setting up their seats to watch the parade. We walked downtown for 9 a.m., then we were at a party for a little while, then we walked to a bar, then another bar, and there was still like barely anybody at the streets. So this is probably the worst representation of parade day in Scranton I could have possibly done, but hey, it's the first parade day where I was daily vlogging. I have been yelling all day long because it's super loud inside. This hat is weird. I never wear these winter hats with the brim. So it's kind of, it's itchy and it's, it's a little uncomfortable. Super windy. We're uh, streets. Here it comes, here it goes, wait. There it goes. So yeah, there's a university screen. But I've been screaming all day. Head back, we're gonna get some food. Okay, it's the next day. I had three batteries, all of them died. It was so cold, it just sucked the life out of my batteries. Nothing else really happened. We stopped and got burritos. Then uh, I walked back to Morgan Liz's, hung out there for a brief period of time. Then I drove over to Mr. Risk's house where I proceeded to quickly lose at a game of beer pong, or I didn't really drink any beer, but don't tell Chris. And then I sat in a chair and talked to Chris about guitars for like an hour, and I came home. My voice was shot. It was so loud inside. I was screaming all day to talk to everyone. You heard a little bit at the end there. I was getting a little raspy, but by the time I got home, it was gone. There was, there was like no, no voice left. So yeah, parade day this year, not the best representation of how uh, we do it here in Scranton. Normally there's a lot more parade and uh, a lot more sun because it's not freezing and we're not in dark bars all day long, but it was just so cold. We were in the bog for, we were in the bog for like four hours. Then we left, we came back to the bog for like probably another hour or two. Didn't, I, I didn't want to keep filming the same thing. So I, I kind of stopped filming, but Next year, hopefully, I will bring you a much better representation of what used to be the third largest St. Patrick's Day parade in the country. If you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can give me that thumbs up. You can ring that bell. You can hit that red subscribe button down there or that floating head of mine you'll see pop up here in just a second. Good night.